Put away your snow boots and grab your dress shoes because we've got an inside scoop on an upcoming event. And rumors about a band reuniting. Spoiler alert, Michaela, it's not One Direction. Yeah, I wish. It's Hollywood Minute. An update on all the sports that happened this week and what's going to happen over the weekend. So stay tuned because NHS TV Live starts right now. What's up, Texan Nation? This week in sports, our very own men's Texan basketball team would annihilate the Eagles as we would take the dub over our little sisters by a score of 95-48 to 48, as the guys would continue to be undefeated in district. The girls would also put up a fight but would only just fall short to Eden, losing 32-28. to 28. Have you yet to go to a basketball game this season? Well, guess what? You're in luck because tonight, guys and girls play at Brewer High School. Girls at 6.30 and guys at 8 o'clock. If you can, make it out there because it's definitely worth it. Both of our soccer squads competed yesterday and are continuing today, so I shall have those scores for you on Monday. Also, swimming starts districts tomorrow, so if you know a, Tex uh, a fellow Texan swimmer, wish him good luck. That's all I have today, Texan Nation. Remember, keep it real and cheer on your fellow Texan athletes. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Kier. Major changes could be coming tonight regarding the U.S. government. Yesterday night, the House Republicans passed a short-term spending bill out of their chamber. This bill funds the federal government to avoid a shutdown and needs to be passed every year. However, the future of the bill is at risk, seeing as more than a dozen Democrats have already announced their voting against the bill. This is due to the fact that most of them saw the bill did nothing for recipients of DACA, which expires March 5th and are frustrated about the matter. However, a government shutdown means some museums and all national parks will close. You will have to wait to get a passport or visa, and active military personnel and veterans may not be paid. A decision will be made tonight on whether the shutdown will go into effect. Judging by the temperatures outside, winter is here to stay, and what better way to welcome it than with a school dance? The winter formal will be on February 3rd from 7 to 11 at the Outdoor Learning Center, and the theme is Fire and Ice. There are only 250 tickets being sold, and tickets are $20 each. With beautiful decorations that are already being made, catered food, and an amazing DJ, you don't want to miss out on this exclusive event. Tickets will be sold during lunches at all offices and in room 636, so be sure to buy your tickets now. Northwest Theater's production of Hello, Dolly! opens next Thursday, January 25th. However, you don't have to wait to buy tickets. You can pre-order them now for $5 on the theater's Twitter page at NW Texan Theater. This past weekend, NHS Future and Debate competed at the Geyer MLK Invitational. Randon Grimm, debater in his first ever duet rounds, broke to finals with Nathan Tracy and placed sixth. Breaking the semifinals in poetry was Jasmine Cruz, and finally, Nathan Tracy placed second overall in dramatic interpretation. Way to go, speech. Teachers, remember you can register for the big event right now. A link has been sent out through the Daily Messenger, so don't wait to sign up. It seems like the entertainment world has baby fever, and, and uh, could these favorite 90s twins be making a comeback? Zach Finley is filling in for Rico on this week's Hollywood Minute. <laughs> Hey Texans, welcome back to your Hollywood Minute. As you can tell, your usual host is not here, but do not worry because I'm here to keep it going. All right, well, let's get started. Kim Kardashian and rapper Kanye West welcomed a new baby girl Tuesday, making this their third child together. The baby was delivered via an unnamed surrogate due to Kim having complications with her last pregnancy. Rumors say that her surrogate is her own sister, Kylie Jenner. This rumor has since been debunked by Kim herself in a post on her exclusive tell-all website. However, despite all the misconceptions about her new addition to the family, Kim states that her and Kanye's connection to the new baby was instant, as it was with them the whole time. The new baby's name has not been revealed, but I think the name Zach has a really nice ring to it. Well, now that I know all the baby news is exciting, it's been confirmed that the hit 90s show Sister Sister is getting a reboot. Jackie Harry, who played Tia on the show, confirmed this week that the reboot is actually happening. And Miss Tia expressing her desire for the show to make a return back in the summer of 2017. Soon we'll all be saying, go home, Roger, once again. Speaking of making a comeback, Twitter went crazy about the Jonas Brothers as they reactivated their Instagram account earlier this week. This subtle action sparked a chain reaction in fans, wondering if this band is going to reunite again. The Jonas Brothers broke up in 2013, and nothing has been confirmed yet about Nick, Joe, or Kevin. But this is a glimpse of hope for the former and current superfans. That's all I have for your Hollywood Minute. Don't worry, Texans. Rico will be back again next week. Have a great weekend, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.